Um, obviously, I broke the law. Uh, um, and, you know, as an option, instead of going on probation, um, because I guess I had a clean enough record or, or first offense of this type, they gave me the option to do the pretrial deferment. The program Wilkinson is talking about allows for people to do community service in order to bring down the fines that they cannot pay. Director of Probation Services of Cornelia, Georgia, Chris Simmons, said this is becoming a more common practice. To do community service. Uh, give them a certain amount of credit towards their fine for every hour they do. Um, and I think you're seeing a lot more probation companies and city or county run probation moving in that direction, allowing offenders to complete community service in lieu of paying their fine. Every year, taxpayers spend billions of dollars on people who are incarcerated. According to prisonpolicy.org, almost 12 million people cycle through local jails each year. The United States locks up more people per capita than any other nation. People get locked up for breaking the law, but a lot of people get locked up for not being able to pay fines. Things seem to be looking up, though, as we listen to Nick Wickelson. Chris found that uh, through another program where they help the inmates down at Lee Arendelle, the female prison, where basically they, they have little crafts classes. Um, for the mentally deficient prisoners there where they can come in and make little crafts out of you know stuff that can't be turned into a weapon or anything so what they needed was for me to basically take 10 slap full boxes just full of nothing but donated shirts from the city and from you know people around the county and cut them into just little strips so that those can be taken down to the prison where the ladies will in turn make um, dog toys. It is so easy to go into debt with fines piling up but with this new program, it allows a lot of flexibility. Hey, they've been really flexible with me, um, you know, again, in terms of the money, stuff like that. When I haven't been able to pay, I've always, you know, been given about a week or two leeway before they start, you know, making a big grand deal out of it. Simmons recognizes that this program is more about the community than it is about the money. These are people out in your community, you know. These are misdemeanor offenders, you know. Out in the community, you know, we're not going to just treat them like, you know, like they're trash. These are people... These are, in some cases, these are family members um, that are going out, get misdemeanor offenses. You know, there should be repercussions because they broke the law. Um, and I think we do a good job not only of making sure that they pay their fine or they do their community service, but also if there's a need that they have that could better them as a person. With this new program, Simmons believe that times are changing. But for people that demonstrate that there is a, you know, a reason they're unable to pay, I think the days of just locking those type of offenders is, is coming to an end.